many of our projects, we try to um, just challenge the way we've done things in the past. Um, we're always trying to um, make it better, um, improve the way we've done things in the past. And I think one of the um, common themes um, with all the departments and all the folks that we've met here is everyone is interested in doing that. So this is the way we've done it before. How can we do it better? How can we be more efficient? How can we provide better care? During the course of the project, I got, to, I got a chance to work with over 150 people. Um, everyone brought something different to the table, and I think everyone has a general attitude of how we can do things better, um, what's a way that we can improve the delivery of, of care for the patients and the staff. Partnering with Dartmouth Hitchcock has been a pleasure. Everybody's professional. They understand what the goals are. They establish the goals and the items that need to be achieved for every aspect of the project. And to help obtain those with the hospital has been a lot of fun for all of us involved with this project. The building itself is a three-story building. Um, it is on a slope site, so it enters at two different levels. Um, the main entrance happens to be on level two. Um, and this became what we referred to as the primary care floor. Um, and this, uh, the design of level two, the primary care floor, um, was designed in a way that it could be very flexible over time. Uh, when the building opens, we'll have three different departments in the building, but over time that could be ten departments or it could be one department. Green and sustainable design is something that really has become standard in, in the building industry, especially when you're, you're building um, high-level quality buildings um, that are, are typical for healthcare and certainly for, for Dartmouth-Hitchcock. On this project, um, specifically, we have a, a very energy-efficient mechanical system, and that deals with the cooling and heating of the building. Um, we have energy-efficient lighting. Um, we have energy um, efficient plumbing fixtures that, re re that allow dual flushing and that use less water. Um, we have an efficient exterior envelope, um, which is, um, that has a, has a uh, very intricate air and vapor barrier system. The exterior of the building has been designed to be cost effective through the operation of the building's life cycle. Um, you know, we've taken into account the um, level of insulation, the air tightness, and um, of the design, so that throughout the life cycle of the building, the cost will be as minimal as possible, and the impact on energy will be as minimal as possible. We'll have a recycling program that will keep waste out of the mainstream. Um, we will be sure that the VOCs, that there'll be zero VOCs in the carpet and the paints and the adhesives that go into the building. And we will, wherever possible, buy regional material. And those are all things that support, from our side of it, the sustainability of construction and the greenness of construction. The people at Dartmouth-Hitchcock are, are professional. Um, they're competent, they understand construction, they understand our needs, and they support our needs on a day-to-day -day process throughout construction. It's been very positive.